This is the PJ and B Farm Partnership video on how to unload the grain cart. We will approach the semi fairly close in second gear. Keep your tractor nice and straight, parallel with the trailers. Then we'll come around and look to the side. We'll be nice and close. Our auger will be tipped all the way back until we get to the compartment we're unloading in. We always unload front to back. So now we've lined up to the front of the trailer. Before we start unloading, we want to ensure that the indicator on the unload spout or on the unload auger is at zero. You don't want any grain to be in and starting under load, so it'll, we'll have that at zero. Our throttle will be at idle, 850 RPM. We'll position the downspout into the front of the trailer so that it's right in the center. To have the auger go up and down is the number two remote. We'll put it down like that. We can position the downspout to be at the center of the trailer with the number four remote. Once it's centered, we make sure that the gates are closed on the semi. We can turn our PTO on to start unloading. Flip that up. PTO is engaged. And then we will open the flow door to number two. Bring it up to number four on the unload indicator. Make sure that hitting nice and center on the grain truck. If you need to stop unloading because it gets too full, make sure to close the flow door all the way down to zero. If you shut your PTO off with the auger full, it can damage the clutch on the, on the grain cart or break shear bolts. So make sure it goes down to zero for the flow to stop and then turn your PTO off. When you're finished unloading, Close the flow door and then bring your tip your auger back up. Bring it all the way up to the top. Make sure to turn your PTO off. If you happen to come up to the truck and miss a line and maybe you feel like you're a little bit too close or a little too far away, it's a much better idea to go around and realign rather than trying to go in reverse. When you're in reverse, it's a much higher chance of backing into the semi when you can't see. So it's much better to go around and realign going straight forward. This is the procedure for unplugging the auger. If, if, you, if you get this plugged, you, what you need to do is disengage the belts with the wrench here. Grab this tool, loosen the belts off in here, turn your PTO on, it'll clear out this auger here. When you have the belts loose, it does not drive the cross auger underneath. It'll clean out the spout. After the spout's cleaned out, tighten the belts back up and turn it back on.